this week on Losers of Initiative. Yeah, apparently they keep it lo- locked up in the dark and... I'm going to put some poop on me. That's gross. Okay. I'm going to come out as the big poop monster. <laughs> oh, <laughs> giants are horribly afraid. Yeah. Is there a disease save? I said, <laughs> uh, I told you I had to poo-poo, you know? <laughs> and I like this scary... <laughs> the, you never said that. The <laughs> ghost I the don't. ghost of the poo-poo baby. Yeah, yeah. Should, they should have known. They done angered it now. All right, Grug. So you've you've slid partially underneath the chimera as far um, as I could go. Correct. You were like underestimating how much or overestimating how much gap was underneath it as it kind of comes down to attack you. You slide under it, attacking it twice onto its sort of chest area, hitting armor class three and negative one. The intent, to be fair, was to get where it couldn't attack me. Okay. And I mean, but that didn't <laughs> that didn't work. That's great intent. The oil. After lubing himself up, didn't do anything. Yeah, it, he's not lubed up quite enough. Mm. I mean, he's you know covered his stinky pots. He's uh, raw dogging it. Raw dogging. <laughs> Jeez. Yep. So uh, yeah, you chafing. You attack it twice, um, and even the negative one doesn't seem to penetrate its thick chimera-like hide. Oh boy, it's not chimera-like. It's actual chimera hide. Oh okay. So, yeah. Okay. So that. Uh, that means it's Ovac's turn. What do you do, Ovac? You were the other person that won initiative. Okay. Um, I'm going to, while kind of bracing, because it's not being like pushed against now, is it? Yeah. Like the door? Yeah, it's, you, you can feel it like, dunk, 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 dunk. They're, they're trying to open the door. Eh, I'm, I'm going to throw my hammer at the Chimera and while well, still... So one, your left hand is pushing up against the chair and the door, and then you just kind of throw with your right hand. Yep. Okay. So go ahead and make an attack roll. I rolled a uh, armor class two. Armor class two. Wow. So, yeah, it just kind of, like, barely misses uh, and then kind of loops around on its way back to you. Right as you went to throw, there was, like, a particularly hard push on the door. Yeah, all that lube in my hand. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna die in here, rolling like that. All right, so uh, the chimera just kind of gnaws, gnaws down onto you. He can't reach me. I'm underneath him. Um, no, he can't. Okay, you're like a push pop right now. Yeah, <laughs> basically, it, it, you're you're underneath its chest, kind of half sticking out. It just kind of lowers its head down and bites. Actually, it's gonna just bite at you. All right, so. Um, yeah, the lion head bit you, uh, and the goat head kind of rams into the ground next to you as you're wig- <laughs> wiggling around, trying to not get, not get hit. Um, ooh, five, five, five points of damage. Ooh. Owie. Okay, and then uh, wrestling with the door. Let's go ahead and make some rolls here. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh. Yeah, you're you're holding strong. <laughs> So yeah, uh, you know, Dualto's got both hands on the chair, and the giants are wrestling with the door, trying to get it open. All right, let's. Uh, I know we're in the middle of a combat, but let's zoom back to Zerosi. Okay. Do little loop. Actually, no, not yet. No. no. Cut, that, <laughs> cut that out, Greg. Do 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 it backwards now, Nate. <laughs> you, 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 you. They're perfect. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So next round, let's roll some initiative. All right. Ooh. 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 Okay, everybody rolled well, apparently. <laughs> 11. Chimera got a 7. I got a 5. Okay. And I just wanted to say ooh. And Dualto got a high number, so. All right, so Ovac, you're catching your hammer and... Holding the door. And hold the door. Hold the door. Okay. So and then it's my turn. So let's go ahead and roll some strength checks again. I add 2 to your roll. I got a 10. I got a 12. Okay. So I got a nine. Yeah, you don't roll this. Um, oh. So yeah, there the door. You're still holding, but not not very much. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm distracted. It's okay. just a matter of time. Just so you know. My counterpart isn't uh, helping. Oh up. no, he is. He oh, is. Okay. He's doing everything he can. Okay. But you really kind of are, are. But is he? Is because <laughs> he really wants to just fight the guys. 
Yeah, he's, he's oh, like, oh, I'm helping. Oh, no, I, swear. I, I think I think they're going to make it through. Oh, no. <laughs> he's like <laughs> pulling. You can see him pulling. <laughs> Stop pulling. <laughs> All right. So the Chimera goes before Grug. So he's just going to keep doing his. But he can't get me because I'm underneath. Biting him. and stuff. Oh, yeah. Both of those hit you. Uh, negative six and a natural 20. One hit. No, negative six. And another hit. Yeah. <laughs> One hit and another hit. Kay. Wait, didn't you say you pulled out your shield as you slid under it? Four. No. <laughs> so that's going to be eight, ten, 18 damage. There is more like a normal than The goat's head rams into your shoulder, and then the lion head bites down on your shoulder. And if we're being honest, my shield's on my back, so it's not coming out for a while now. Because <laughs> it's wedged underneath me and Mr. Chimera. Or Mrs. Mrs. I haven't, I haven't checked it yet. All right, double attack. <laughs> Wiggle your foot around. Uh, no, or, no, no. Or, I mean, it may be Mr. Mrs. Mr. It could be. <laughs> Uni Mrs. Sir. All right, here we go. Two attacks. X, X, Y. Um, negative four and negative four. Both hits. I'm going to try and shimmy underneath him a little bit more. Shimmy the under the chimera? Yeah. So I'm right that What down. are you doing, like thrusting motions with your hip? Larger than man. Scoot, <laughs> scoot, <laughs> scoot, <laughs> scoot. <laughs> yes. Pelvic thrust. Scoot, 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 um, scoot. I'm going two-handed. So 2d8 plus 9. All right. It's plus 18. So 24. That's another 10. 34 damage. 34 damage. Geosafat. Oh, boy. It makes whatever noise a chimera makes when it gets hurt. Goat, <laughs> goat lion serpent noise. Oh, it's a uh, serpent more than it's like a dragon in the head. Breeze fire, so <laughs> that was. I'm gonna have nightmares now. Thanks, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I feel like you're, uh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little too dirty. Right, <laughs> is that what you're looking for? <laughs> no, no. The goat surprise. I was, I was gonna it, say you were you're giving the head wrong. But. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Okie dokie. Let's roll some initiative for another round of combat. Then let's move on. Um, ten. Ten. The chimera also got a ten. I got an eight. Okay, so we're gonna roll again. Thirteen. Nine. Okay, so you guys all want initiative. Double attack. Negative ten. Negative four. Both hits. Plus eighteen. Ooh. Uh, and it's math, so there's t- that's 24, and then 24 plus 8 is 32, and then I'm going to roll two more dice, and then two more dice is going to be 39 plus 4. 43 damage. Holy cow. No, I, I thought it was a Chimera. 43, that's like one of your top damages. <laughs> Holy Chimera. No, oh. that's, that's, that's horrible. Oh. All right, Ovac, your hammer's in your hand. I'm going to... I'm mainly going to use my hammer to try and, like, wedge the chair even further. Like, I'm going to take a swing at the chair leg to try and... Push it up and into the handle to... Okay. Um, So, we'll go ahead and do another strength check and I'm going to not get my plus two this time. (laughs) Actually, it's not a strength check. It's it's just a roll off, basically. Oh, okay. Your dice thought I was mean in a strength check, so it rolled low. So, you got a two. I did. Uh, and I rolled a 19. Because, see, I, I should get a re-roll. Yeah. Because, I mean, I was... He rolled on strength check. I whispered. I was the dice whisperer, and I was like, come on, roll low. Yeah. And it did. So, I should get another roll. Yeah. <laughs> okay, no, that doesn't work that way. Um, So, uh, yeah, you hammer the... Boom, boom. You hammer it in a little bit, and you actually bust open the chair leg. You know, you... Crack it up, broke it off, or whatever. Yeah, so my and that, leverage is and gone. that and that sends a little bit of angle push onto the chair, which then the giants kind of pushing on the door make that angle worse, and then the door flies open. Okay, I like it. Okay, do you? Do you? <laughs> I love danger. <laughs> that sounds like the opposite of like. Um, Flank him from the south. I'm just gonna scoot and shoot scoot, out. Scoot and shoot. All right. So the chimera is badly wounded by that last nasty combo. Um, it is actually going to. Yeah, I know how to take care of heads. It's gonna just sort of bounce up, fly up in the air, and have the dragon breathe fire down on you. The dragon head breathe fire down on you. So go ahead and make your breath weapon saving throw. I'm so glad we'll be able to get great information by looking at the maps and stuff on this table. <laughs> made it. <laughs> yeah. There's no maps on the table. Uh, 13, uh, 22, so you made it, so 11 damage. 
And the, yeah. Hoorah. the chimeras are just sort of hovering, flapping and hovering above you. Okay. And we're going to go into a new round. However, we're going to do that after we move over to Zerosi. Good. I don't like that roll anyway. <laughs> Zerosi <laughs> likes the two speed. Zerosi right. doesn't realize the camera's panned to him and he's like picking his nose. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, but, but he's invisible. Pulling, oh, his that's underwear, great. <laughs> pulling his underwear out of his butt crack. <laughs> All right, so back to Zerosi. So the door has opened because of your knock spell, okay? And the giant kind of, it's like he noticed or heard or something because he started to turn toward you when you cast it, but then the door opened, and that immediately brought his attention back as he stands there with the note looking into the room, looking into what is actually, it's a hallway. Uh, it's about a 50-foot hallway, still, you know, still 20 feet wide, 50 foot long. Uh, but the hallway ends with a big, huge pillar in the middle of the hallway, and then uh, right on the other side of the pillar, it opens up into the chambers of the king, you're assuming. Because the pillar is like a big carved pillar of a very powerful fire giant from floor to ceiling, the whole column pillar is. Um, And on the other side of it is a big room that you can already see that's all decorated out as as the chambers, you're assuming, of the king. All right, but there's no sign of the king there. It's like the door opened by itself to the giant as he stands sort of like waiting to present the thing to the king who opened the door, but the king's not there. And he's like, and he shouts, Snoor! You know, really loudly. And while he's doing that, I want to like work my way back up and try and get past him into the room. Okay, piece of cake. Uh, we're going to just do a real move silently, quick roll there, okay? So you move by him and into the into the hallway that leads toward the toward the room there. Yep. Um, is he still just standing at the door? Yes. Okay, I'm going to keep going down the hallway towards the, the chambers. Okay. So as you're walking, you're about halfway down that hallway toward the pillar. Um, when coming out of the chamber and passing by the pillar is King Snur. And he's got his full regalia of battle armor on. Oh, snap! And he's got his big, huge, nasty fire sword over his shoulder. And he's and he looks pissed. And he's walking straight at the guy. And you barely take a step aside. Yeah. Because you kind of froze for a moment in, in panic as he's angrily moving swiftly straight at you, pretty much. <laughs> Forgetting for a moment that I'm invisible. Just like, ugh! Deer in headlights. <laughs> but you step aside just in time as he rushes by you. Yeah. So I guess I want to see this interaction. Okay. Yeah. yeah. He angrily snatches the the message that you handed. He angrily snatches that message out without missing a stride. He keeps walking out. And the and the, the, the elite guard guy that you had been following kind of stands dumbfounded for a second and then immediately starts scurrying behind the king. Um, and there's no other, like, door doors or anything in this hallway. It just goes straight to his chambers. And Correct. I think that the first thing that I would generally want to do is inspect his chambers more. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, so I'm going to keep going in, see if I can find any passageways or just also inspect the room in general. Okay. All right, so uh, and so he seems very upset, but I have there's been no like alarm. Nope. But as as you've kind of witnessed from your exposure, limited exposure to this king, King Snur, he seems to be aware of things. Yeah, like going on. So Eric, you know Nagi, you know what's going on with the other members of the party. Yeah. Zerosi doesn't. Um, but but I do know something's up. Right. And and King Snur seems to be aware that something's going on, even though Zerosi is not. Um, but that that makes Zerosi go, oh shoot, what are the what well, was probably he's probably ang- that angry look is probably because something that my friends are doing. Yeah. So I uh, I'm gonna try and search quickly. Okay. But still. All right. So uh, the chambers of the king. Uh, there's a huge bed, a table. Uh, there's a small throne of ebony. Um, there's some other chairs, a tall cabinet, a bunch of trunks, a uh, large iron chest at the foot of the bed. Uh, there's a bench, like a sitting bench, fire giant size near the entry. The floor is literally covered with pelts. The walls are hung with many tapestries and trophies. Uh, 
There's also on the wall, there's some shields, axes, swords, a huge flail. Um, So what I'm mainly focused on is if there would be anywhere that would be likely that if there was like concrete evidence that yes, he was getting orders from a Klavdra, um, like any other um, letters or anything, that's what I, anywhere that I'd be more likely to find that, that's what I'm focused on. I'm not searching for treasure at this point. I'm just trying to find clues. But you don't know really what you're looking for. Yeah. <laughs> so just things seem that are out of the ordinary, uh, that aren't like big tapestries or big, you know, trophies, things like that. Your or where papers would be stored or something. Anything that is there a desk yeah. you said? Well, yeah, there's like a like a this little table area with his, you know, yeah. The little, the smaller version of his throne, and some chairs around this large table. That would probably be a good place to start. Uh, well, looking on that table, the first thing you see, uh, well, actually, it looks like it's set for people to eat and drink and stuff. But also, at in front of the throne part of the table, obviously where the king sits, in front of his area, you do notice that there's uh, small bits of carved ivory and some animal teeth and bits of wood and s- carved stones sort of in this flat, large flat bowl. It's like a flattened bowl that all these things are just sort of strewn about in. Uh, and, and yes, you, you kind of like, it's almost as if like, you know, runic. Like he takes them all up and t- drops them down into this bowl and reads the stones kind of thing. It's like one of those. Okay. Um, well, at the very least, I'm going to scoop the stones out into my bag so that he doesn't have them anymore. Just all the stuff in the bowl out? Yeah. Okay. Um, but I did recognize it as being something along those lines. Yeah. Um, and I'm not finding any. Uh, yeah, I guess look, I'll look around, and if there's any other place that it seems like would be likely that I might find like concrete evidence about anything from a Klavja, that's where I'll go next. But then I need to keep tabs on what's going on and probably follow him back out. So there is so much clutter and junk in this room, it's hard to, I mean, do you have any sort of magical assistance to help you? Or do you want to just use your elven ability to find stuff? Or... Yeah, I, mean, I don't... Because there's a ton. You you could literally search this place for a long time to to to, to search it. I mean... Yeah. I like that it was literally and then a vague Literally a long you time. You could literally search for a long time. Correct. That's how literal it is. Literal. A long time. Literally a long time. <laughs> yeah, I'm not finding any kind of spell that would make it more likely... I mean, other than cast haste on myself and just search faster. <laughs> there you go. So you're just gonna... Yeah, I'm just gonna... You know, try and use whatever in my intuition to try and figure out, you know, a couple places that I think would be more likely, and then... Okay. Yeah. So, how long do you want to search? Roll your intuition skill. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just a couple minutes, like, maybe five at most. Five minutes? Oh, I guess... Well, there's combat going on now that I know about, and that changes time frames a lot. Mm-hmm. But, um... Yeah, I think what I would have probably done is just picked one more area. Like, if there was, you know, stuff, something next to his table, next to his... There's, other, his, his there's literally a lot of stuff I, in this Literally, room, so. literally a lot of stuff. So, like, if there if there was, like, a nightstand or something, sure. or, yeah, that. Search through there. If I don't find anything, I need to go see what's going on. Okay, so you search through there. You don't find anything, so you're going to go see what's going on. Yeah. All right, so where do you go? Uh, well, I go down the hallway... Okay. The only, then, yeah, because you're sort I, of at a dead end, so you just go back into the main hall. Yeah, and once I'm there, what's going on? Okay. Um, in the main hall, there you kind of look down to the throne room area, uh, expecting to see those three giants and possibly the king down there, uh, but none of them are there. Oh, hey, what do you know? It's a perfect time to check the secret door. There you go. I think uh, I'm going to go check the secret door. <laughs> okay. Bye, party. So you're going to go move to the secret door and check that. And let's go back to the trouble room. Badoo-loo-loo. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting worse. I know. <laughs> All right. What are we on, initiative? We are on initiative. Seven. Five. Ten. Oh, and Dualto has now got his hammer out. going to fight the giants. All right, two attacks on the Chim Chim Chimera. Okay. 
Uh, armor class one, which is a miss. Miss. And then armor class negative ten. That's a hit. Uh, wow, that's three plus my nine, so twelve damage. Okay. It's injured. It's kind of struggling to keep flight. You got it. You got it wobbled bad. Oh yeah, I guess I stood up to attack it. I yep. forgot it was in flight. Yeah. Okay. Turn right. it. Now I'm under its belly for sure. Ovac, you have a you have a choice to either fight the giants as they're coming in, or to fight the chimera. No, oh, I'm doing giants. Okay, yeah, so you work. spin around. Well, uh, did you throw your hammer last round? Nope, I held on to it. I last round was when he broke. Oh, that's right, you broke the, the chair, chair, thusly allowing the giants to pour in. Yeah. Okay. Nice job. So I'm just going to uh, two attack on the, the first, first one I yep. see. Do it, do it. Oh man, that's an armor class negative seven and armor class negative. 16. Both of those are hits. So I just picture the other dwarf whose name I literally can never remember. Dualto. Dualto. Thank you. I'll ask you again next time I talk about him. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just picture like he saw the hammer thing but thinks that you did it on purpose and you're like, and just like, yeah, it's time! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you've decided to fight him. I like it. <laughs> so I do uh, 26 damage to the first one I see. Okay. And now, so the Chimera is actually going to, it's badly wounded. Uh, It's actually going to retreat back into the room it came from. That's what it thinks it's going to do. Wait, it does. It's flying. It just flies that way. (laughs) Oh, that, oh, it thinks it is. Okay. You can chase it on your next turn. Oh, I'm chasing it. Okay. On my next turn. (sighs) And then the Giants, um, I'm going to allow two of them to attack in this round. And let's see who they fight, because Dualto and Ovac are both in the door. They're both fighting Ovac. Oh, uh, yeah. Cool, cool. What, cool. Is your, what is your armor class, Ovac? Just uh, update the every. It's everybody. just a negative two, since I don't have my shield out. Aha. Uh-huh. Is that with your four bonus against Giants? No, so that would be negative six. There you go. Uh, and they hit armor class negative two. <laughs> huh. So it's only a negative six, because you don't have your shield out. Negative two? And negative five. Hmm. Hey, look at that. So you easily dodge left and right, moving. I'm like a butterfly. Dwarf in combat against giants using that armor class bonus. Uh, they miss you. All right, so let's do some initiative again. New round again. Nine. Eight. Fifteen for the giants and chimera. Can I keep up with it? Yeah. I'm going to attack it twice. Okay. All right. Ooh, natural 20. Negative six. Both hits. Probably dead. It's dead. Gonna be dead. Starts at 18. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, it starts at 22. No, my damage starts at 18. Plus 4d8. So the minimum oh, is 22. Oh, that's true. That's true. Well, 18, because math is hard. Okay. So 25, 26, and then that's 37. Yeah. Yay. So you slice it, and it kind of brings it sort of spinning down to the ground, and then you hit it again, chopping its head off, one of its heads off, and it just kind of clumps and flumps and falls, is it, uh, falls dead to the ground. In the room? Yeah, it didn't. Can make. I peek around the room a little bit? Oh no, no. Is it? Did it go get back into the other room? I want to peek around that room it came out. Yeah, of. you're basically in the, at the doorway. Yeah. to that. Just other a quick room. look to yeah, see. Yeah, it what's smells in there. bad. It's it's just the chimera's chamber. Any other exits? There's poop fecal, everywhere. Fecal and, man. Yeah, nastiness. No, there's no other exits. Okay. Yeah, apparently, I'm gonna keep put some it lo- locked up in the dark and. I'm gonna put some poop on me. That's gross. Okay. I'm gonna come out as the big poop monster. <laughs> <laughs> as <laughs> giants are horribly afraid. Yeah. Is there a disease save? I said, uh, I told you I had to poo-poo, you know? And I like this scary. <laughs> the, you never said that. The ghost yeah, the ghost of the poo-poo baby. Yeah, yeah. Should, they should have known. They done angered it now. All righty. So that was his uh, turn. I, it's I my won. turn. Okay. Yeah. Oh. So. so I'm going to uh, double attack on the same. Okay. And, oh, that's a negative two. And then a negative eight. One hit. Ooh. Oh, for 16 damage. Oh. All right, so we're going to go with... Uh, so you now see both of the double doors have opened up. You've kind of taken a step back because of the just sheer mass of the giants coming in. There are six... I'm sorry, I can't count. There are seven of those, like, elite, armored, two-handed, weapon-wielding 
fire giants. Okay. Seven of them there, as well as six large hellhounds. Mm, can they fit side by like no? Two they're wide they're, in the they're door. yeah. They can shoulder to shoulder in the door, and they will push in. Right. But, oh, really? But still, there's just two in the door right now, um, and they're going to attack and then move in. So next round, there'll be four. But you can see that there's a total of seven and, and six. Seven giants and six hellhounds. Real quick. Like, All right. Your Colonel Kangaroo, strategic yeah. eyes. Kicking He's in. just counting legs because he that's his height. So. All right. So uh, let's yeah, see. Those, yeah. those two, uh, the two giants that are in, one attacks Dualto and one attacks Ovac. So. Ooh. They missed Dualto with a two, um, but armor, nope, armor class negative three. That's a miss. On to Ovac. So they're bringing their swords and halberds down, and you guys are just, you're proving too small to hit for some reason. You know, I guess that's probably the only explanation here. But you're wiggling around and hammering them. And yeah, they're bumping into each other <laughs> while they're trying to swing and stuff. Right. Okay, and Dualto attacks with his hammer and hits. Just going, and your guys are just smashing, smashing their toes. Yeah. Start with the pinky toe. That one hurts the most. And that brings us to a new round. Nine. Two. Uh, the Giants got a... Where's their speed? Uh, Fourteen. All right. So they're big and slow, too, because, you know... Here we go, Brad. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. You tell me if I can do what I want to do to do it. You do some splaining to me, okay? I'm, I'm going to splain, Brad. You Listen, do, I'll splain to you. You do the splaining. I do the listening. We Okay. okay. I want to jump up onto the table, run across the table, and sword over my head, screaming, you know, because dramatic effect. What's your scream? I thought, what, was your, yeah, what was your bird call Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. I forgot about the... That was like three episodes ago. It's been a long time. Okay, anyways. <laughs> do my scream. All the way across the table, and then jump off the other side and stab one of them. Okay, you would, land. you'd only get one attack. I'm down. Yeah, Let's stab. Let's do it. Fun. Okay, let's do it. Stabs. I'm gonna do it. Okay, so make a. That's gonna be a dex. That's your up onto the table. Coordination, jump, leap, run, jump again, attack. Failed it by one. What is your dex? Seventeen. And you rolled an eighteen. Rolled an eighteen. You suck so bad. Yeah. So you jump up onto the table. Do I hit my head on the table? No, no. But you <laughs> his oily feet. Remember? No, no. Well, yes, kind of. <laughs> remember the oil that was on the table? Because you weren't really covered in a lot of it, but just a little bit. Mm -hmm. And you, when Makes you sense. slid on the table, you kind of smeared some of it on the table. Of course. And so as you jumped up on the table, took a couple steps, stepped in the oil, right. and then slipped. But because you were moving so fast with the intent of hurling yourself so fast. 15 feet through the air to attack this giant, right. all that speed, momentum, and weight onto that oil, that little slick spot, right. sends you flying um, like, a, like a tumbling torpedo, uh -huh. so to speak. Um, Torpedoes do a lot of damage. At the giant. So yeah. What yeah, it's we're like gonna a do, banana peel um, among other <laughs> racers. So you... Go ahead and make a two-hit roll to see if you basically hit the giant, but not with your sword. Negative two. Uh, so that's a hit onto the giant, but no damage. But what, what it does do is it basically, you just kind of body slam yourself into, like, the gut of one of the giants. Okay. So you yeah. just kind of ran and jumped and slipped and then tumbled through the air, slamming into the belly of one of the giants. Ooh! I'm really bad at doing so epic attacks. You do no damage. Especially to giants. It looks really funny, but you prevent that giant from attacking this round. Yay. Does he, like, burp a little and almost throw up? Because I hit <laughs> Does his he, like, just back step and block the other no. giants from coming in? No. <laughs> okay, so there are... Just dominoes as they fall back. So in I'm a bowling ball. Of, so instead of four giants attacking this round, it's only three. Uh, and it is two on Ovac, one on Dualto. The one on Dualto hits. So let me roll Dualto damage real quick. Oh my goodness. That's a bad hit. Okay. And then two on Ovac. Uh, so their Thaco is a more. And that is negative 11 and negative 1. One hit. One hit. You can attack five times and only hit once. I know. It's terrible. Oh, wow. That was not a good roll by the DM. 15, 20 not, damage. Not good for me. 20 damage, which is little on the low end for the elite fire giants. Okay. Okay. And the hellhounds are really barking at the heels of the giants, who apparently are more interested in getting into you than letting the giant, letting the hounds go in and get you. So. 
They're kind of keeping the hounds out of it for some reason. Okay. And now it is Dwalto's turn. Did he? Lo- yeah, he lost. Yeah, he lost. He hasn't been hit. Oh. Or he got hit. But he I rolled did. a 20. Yay. So he Critical. Got- Ooh. Well, basically. Uh, so. Wow. Okay. So he hit his giant. That hit him. Boom. They're just basically trading hits. Massive hits to each other. Okay, and now it's a new round. So you, know you wanted to say massive blows to each other. They're just trading massive blows. Yeah. Okay. Um, so slop. No, nope. stop. Nope. The Giants. Too far. Giants got a twelve. For uh, twelve. And my twelve is better than your twelve because following it is a twelve. I got a ten for my follow up. Oh, it's not. I got a two. So Ovac leads us off. What did uh, Dualto got a fourteen? So he goes. So goes Ovac Giants and then. Everybody else. <laughs> everybody. <laughs> Literally <laughs> everybody else. Everybody <laughs> else in the room. All right, so Ovac. Uh, I'm going to pull out my shield. So that's one of your two attacks. Okay. I'll say readying your shield is one, and then swing in with your hammers. And okay, then I'm going to do one attack on the same one that I've been attacking. Okay. Oh, well, that's only an armor class negative six. That's a hit. For 15 damage. 15 damage. <laughs> so now what is your armor class? Uh, negative eight. Jeez. Okay, that's a pretty good arm class. It's <sighs> not so bad. <laughs> that's a spicy meatball. All right, so all four giants can attack, and now there are three possible targets. One, two, three, four. Five, six. Oh my! Grug, Grug, Ovac, Ovac. Yay! So the one that was fighting Dwalto went. I hit him really hard last time. I know he hit me hard too, but I'm gonna go at Ovac. So two on Grug. Armor class negative seven and negative two. Uh, one hit. Okay, so Grug takes, wow, really, 10, 12, 17 damage, even less than last time. And Ovac, who is now negative 8, jeez, negative 8 and negative 6. Oh, okay, so one hit. One hit for uh, 16, 17, and 5, 22. Cool, cool, cool. Down to 30. 30 hit points left, Ovac. Yeah, yeah, I'm feeling strong. Okay, all right. Uh, and now Grug and Dualto. Dualto, that's a 17. Solid hit. Uh, he finishes his guy. Oh, nice. One of them falls to the Dualto. Uh, I'm going to pull out and ready my shield as well. Okay. And then attack once. Okay. Armor class 2. Okay, that is a miss. Okay, all right. Okay, let's just, just go ahead and roll on to initiative. Nope, no need to talk about it. it bounces off his Here armor. Here we go, initiative. And doing no damage. Got a five. Uh, really? Yeah. Oh, they, they got a 14, and Dualto got a 17. No, 16. I got a six. All right, so you guys go first, and then the Giants, and then Dualto. Okay. Two attacks on... This one. That, yeah, the one that you're looking at right there with your pencil. Uh, armor class, negative 11 and two. Negative 11's a hit. Two is a hit for no damage. This dice is going in the garbage. <laughs> uh, the box, the huge box of dice that you have sitting next to you. Box O dice. Okay. So one hit and nine. Fourteen damage. Fourteen damage. La, 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 la. Okay. And then Ovac, you're still working on that one. Yep. Two hits. Uh, ooh, no. Armor class zero. That's terrible. That's a miss. And then negative fourteen. Negative fourteen is not terrible. That is a hit. For what, D4 plus 12? That's 15. D4 plus 12. Yeah. Okay, that's uh, interesting damage you do. All right, boom, still up. Giants have lots of hit points. La, 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 lots of hit points, but their their weak spot is their stacko is not as good as yours. Okay. Not as good as ours. So there are four giants. Uh, there's still actually there's six giants, but only four can attack you because you've got... Seven. Well, one's dead. Dualto yeah, killed, Dual- one. Dualto killed oh, his. Yeah, did. yeah, come on, guys. Dualto killed his. Yeah, pay attention. Yeah, that doesn't count. But you, you three, Dualto, Ovac, and Grug, you kind of backed up so where the, you're kind of not under the table, but kind of fighting with the table at your three, at your backs. The three of you kind of... I mean, we could go underneath the table. You could, but then you can attack the Giants, and the Giants would just move the table. I mean, it would just... You can use the table... But if you don't you go, abuse if, the if table. you go under it, yeah, if you go under it, they're just going to move it, and then you won't be able to use the table, kind yeah. of thing. Use it, don't All abuse right. it, mate. You dummy. Uh, all right, so uh, there are there are still six giants, but only four of them can get around you because they're so big. Um, so the four 
Giants are attacking. There we go. Random determination. Two on Ovac and two on Dualto. Hey, that's ideal. So Ovac. Is it? Yeah, armor class, the bonus to Giants, armor so. class negative one and zero. See? Both hits. Shit. <laughs> I took off all my armor. Both <laughs> misses. <laughs> Drop. <laughs> And then my, my bonus I started, is gone. I started jumping into the attacks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they missed Dualto with both of their attacks, too, with armor classes 8 and 3. Hmm. They rolled really poorly. So there. now we know he's wearing armor. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Nope, he's butt-ass naked. Grug 2. Grug 2. <laughs> uh, did I lose? No, Ovac did, though. Ah, Ovac attacks with his mighty, and he misses. You so mean Dualto, but that's fine. You're, oh, you're, that's you're right. working your way through like, it. So. Um, no? <laughs> Dualto attacks with his mighty two-handed hammer and misses. <laughs> Air. Okay. Uh, another round of combat. Now the lines have been established. Six. Um, Eighteen. Six. <laughs> and Dualto gets a sixteen. So you all won initiative. All of you. Attack it twice. Armor class, negative three. Nope. And armor class three. Nope. <laughs> yeah, remember, these giants are, I mean... Played it up. This dice is yeah. awful. They got some serious protection around their naughty bits. Because <laughs> that's all we can hit. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> attack the naughty bits. No, you're, I thought you were hitting them in the foot. I thought you guys do the foot thing. Yeah. Or is are that just different game? Uh, just GURPS. Are they wearing metal sandals? <laughs> Um, negative eight and negative thirteen. Yeah, both of those are uh, uh, good hits. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So that was fourteen and sixteen for thirty. Thirty damage drops your giant finally. Hooray! Oh. So now Dwalto's on that one. Ovex on that one. There are still five giants up and six hellhounds. The hellhounds actually, because they're, they're kind of still in the doorway. They, for some reason, are backing out and into the hall and out of your sight. They're not ah, in the door. shit. Here comes the king. So, something that pulled them back into the hall and, and down away from the room. Okay. So, is it initiative time? Yeah, the king Jedi mined them out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it is mm. initiative. Or I set off, like, an alarm trap, and now they're just coming to me. Ah, I hope so. All right, initiative. <laughs> <laughs> initiative. They got a 17, and Dualto got a 15. Five. Five. Hey. Okay, so everybody goes first. Dualto attacks. Haha. -ha. Uh, that's a hit on his new guy that he's on, who has <laughs> lots of hit. Aww. Okay. Uh, come on, Brad. There we go. Two attacks. Grug. Attacking two attacks. the same one I attacked last time. Uh, yep. Armor class negative four and negative nine. One hit. Aha. Uh -huh. It was the negative four. I knew it. <laughs> All right. That's 9 plus 9. 18 damage. Okay. And Ovac? Dualto. Oh, I mean Ovac. Dualto, Ovac. Dwovac? Dwovac. Alto. Okay. So uh, negative 8 and negative 10. Both hits. Misses. Oh, okay. <laughs> On your new guy. This is a new guy. 15 and 14, so 29. Okay. Boom, boom. And that was all of you, so now they go. And let's see who they're gonna just mix it up with here. Mixing it up. Um, that's two on Grug and two on uh, Ovac. Boo. Almost called it Dalto. <laughs> All right, two Too on. Too many dwarves in this room. Two on Grug. Armor class negative seven and negative ten. Uh, negative seven's a hit. <laughs> so by proxy. So by proxy, negative ten so is it? Two hits. Oh no, that's bad. Uh. 22. 31. 40 damage. Ooh. Got four hit points left, boys. Ooh. You have four hit four points. Four hit points. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Grug uh, does not look well. Oh, and then two on Ovac. Grug? <laughs> oh, okay. Grug doesn't feel uh, so good. Wow. Uh, armor class eight and armor class six. Man, eight's a hit. <laughs> yeah. That was bad. Okay. I mean, what and did we expect when we aggroed the entire complex? Well, these are the elite guards. They're wearing like the super and shiny plate. All of them. And all of them but one. Yeah, we did. We split the party, remember? Oh, the, yeah. the, one with the, <laughs> the one with the message isn't there. Yay. These are just the three that were there plus, hey, we got one plus the yeah, other. The one other less we got to fight. Five, four that were the guards of a different spot that were brought here. All okay. right. 
Initiative. Right? Yes. Okay. Eleven. Nine. Ten. Oh. And then Dwalto gets an eleven. So Ovac and then the Giants. Ho-ho-ho. And you have four hit points, Grug. We might see a barbarian go down tonight. So I'm gonna cure critical. Okay. <laughs> on Grug. All right. So bloop. Just burn a heal. Oh. Oh, I could actually. That's that's all of his hit points except D4. He would go from yeah. four to like 130. Yeah. No. Grug. I knew I kept you around for a reason. <laughs> Let's do that. All right. Grug wonders why you so don't use heals. Roll well. a D4. And Grug this knows is, all your this spells. This is how far from his max he becomes. Four. Aww. So you're up to 129 hit points. From four to 129. And plus that also removes any diseases, poisons, uh, curses, blindness. So, so all the poop ins- sickness. Ins- yeah, insanity. Yeah. Um, I mean, so the poop clearly, sickness is gone. Yeah, yep. Poop, disease, and insanity. Oh, so, poop so now Grug's like, thank you for casting that spell yes. on me. Uh, Grug thinks Ovac Badal Badal is a mighty gentleman. <laughs> I concur with that assessment. <laughs> so, all right. Yeah, it turned out the way you speak was actually just from like... It's uh, a disease. Yeah. Brain hits. You yeah. were just yeah. insane. Yeah, brain rot or something. Yeah. Okay. Um, wow. So that was really good. Uh, that was needed because it's now it's the giant's turn. Roar! Let's see who they Let's attack. be honest. If it's affecting his brain, it's probably syphilis. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Two, yeah. two on Grug and two on Ovac again. He never has sex, though. All With right. myself. So we're going to do the two on Grug. Uh, Clearly, I don't know how syphilis works. Armor class eight and armor class four. <gasps> Misses. Two on Ovac. Armor class zero and armor class five. Uh, that five's a hit. Suddenly, they become really bad at hitting things. They saw the power of his magics. Apparently yeah. so. All right, I'm going to attack Morgan twice. Morgan has blinded them. Armor class negative three and negative seven. One hit. Four. A total of 16 damage. Okay. And then Dualto swings and hits. Armor class negative nine. That's a hit. And does... Plus... He does derp, 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 derp. <laughs> um, Okay. Initiative. It is initiative. Uh, okay. And you guys, the the ominous departure of the hellhounds is about to be answered. So, uh, the reason, the explanation. So, they uh, they got a 16 on their initiative. Seven. I think they won. I got two. And Dwalto got a 14. So, you all won. So Nate doesn't know how math works. All right. Here we go. Two attacks. Or initiative. I got a pair of negative 11s. Ah, okay. Both of those are solid hits. So 18 plus these two, which is 26, plus these two, which is 26 plus 12, pause, 38. Right? 38, yeah. That sounds right. Yeah, that's good. I'm going to go 38. 38. I'm going to go 38. 38. Can I say 38? I'm going to go 38. Not dead. 42. Not dead. Damage. You probably needed 39. Nice. I'm doing uh, double attacks on the new one. Yep. Oh, man. <laughs> That's negative nines. Pair of negative nines. Also hits. 16 and 14 for 30. 30 damage. <laughs> is All that right. the giant or is that Brad? Yeah, That's is that <laughs> old man? <laughs> <laughs> Did he turn into an old man? <laughs> he turned, turned, into, turned into Brad. All right. Dualto. <laughs> oh, my back. Oh, no, he missed. Dwalto missed. Yeah, you're actually just rolling how many years you age it every time you hit. <laughs> yeah. Just killing him by old age. Yeah. Okay. He, the whole the whole place all died of natural causes. <laughs> so, actually, the giants that are in melee continue to be in melee. Um, so, there's five giants, four of them in melee, one of them kind of waiting for that one that's badly wounded to fall so he can take a spot. Right. So, the four giants go. Uh, that is Grug, Ovac, Dwalto, and Ovac. So, Grug. That's like the fifth one I've rolled. Um, miss. He um, hits himself. And then two on, his toe. two on Ovac. Uh, negative five is a miss. Only That was only one hit. The other one that rolled oh, okay. a, a positive four. Oh, okay. And then Dualto. Wow. Armor class, positive four. I'm telling you, more than they're blinded uh, by, the light. by I, the light. I can't roll above a 10 on a 20-sided <laughs> die. How many is this been? Like you tw- can try a 12-sided. 12 rolls? Yeah, probably better luck. 
Okay. So those four attack, and the one that's kind of like waiting to, to jump in, a, uh, a large hand comes behind him and grabs him on the shoulder and pulls him back as King Snur steps up. Big fiery beard and this big nasty two-handed fire sword. There's fire coming off the blade of the sword as he moves in. And then we're going to roll initiative. Oh, okay. Alrighty. Eleven. <laughs> Fourteen. <laughs> Fifteen. Hey. Attack it twice. Ooh, but I'm going to split them. Because I have a good feeling this one's only got <laughs> one hit point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's got blood coming out of his eyes. Yeah. Can I just poke him and kill him and then <laughs> do two attacks? That, yeah, push him over. All right, one attack on him. Armor class negative ten. That's a hit. And then the one to his left. Okay, that's that to one. To right the there. left. Yeah. To the left. <laughs> Everything you own in the palm of your left. <laughs> uh, and then negative eleven. Hit. So the one that with one hit point left has is dead. He's dead. Yeah, he takes damage. Okay. It's equivalent to whatever I rolled. Holy smokes! The other one I rolled a pair of eights. So sixteen and nine. Twenty-five damage. Max damage. And then I'm going to double attack. Oh, It's an armor class 1 and then negative 11. Hit. One hit. For 14. Nope. Not down. Dwalto attacks. Uh, that's a negative 7. Just a hit. Do, 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 do. Not down. Okay. So the giants, instead of attacking you, all like, like, like you're on, like, oh no, don't touch them. They kind of bounce back out there. They immediately withdraw from combat as King Snur steps in. And he's about to do a broad sweep of his sword as it comes down. And everybody that is, that is armor class negative 10. Hit. Ovac. Hit. And also hits Dwalto. So he brings his fire sword in one big sweeping motion across the chests of all of you. Right on our chests. Dealing. It's like ankle size. Yeah. 42 damage. Ha ha! Ha ha! And with that, you see Grug, you can take 42, and you're like, ah! You kind of look over, and you see Ovac. Just sort of, almost like he's splitting. He's almost cut in half. Whew. As he falls backwards with his huge chest opening. I mean, like, it basically almost cut him in half. And he's just lying motionless with his wound burning on the ground. He's on fire, though. His wound is on fire, but he's not moving. Oh, it's cauterized. Don't you worry. Yeah. I'm going to begin roasting a marshmallow. I'm not going to bleed out. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. And let's go to Zerosi. All right. <laughs> So, Zerosi, um, you know, you're making your way. You didn't find anything with your quick search. As you're, you're making your way, you, you entered back in the hall and saw no sign of anybody. Um, so, just to also make sure where the fight's happening, they went down that hall and then turned I down the other one? Uh, maybe. Well, Nagi. they're not you, in that visible hall. That cor- the, correct. You can't. Me, the player, no, like I'm putting that into location so that I know that I can't see them. Correct. No, uh, okay. Zerosi could not see them. And there's still enough noise from the vents and everything that you can't hear them or see them. But you know that there's the secret door that you were going to go behind. Yeah. Or the big hallway that they could be down. But you don't know what's going on in their fight. Yeah, no. I would go to the secret door. Okay. So there's the secret door. All right. You find a way to open it. Yeah. Okay. And when you open it, it is barely wide enough for a fire giant. So, I mean, it's... Easily, you can fit in, but you notice that this it kind of cracks open to where a fire giant, if you kind of turn sideways and sucked in his gut, could make it inside. So, hmm, okay. And I go inside. Okay, yeah, you do. It's kind of windy. It's almost like it's a natural caverny stuff. It's not like carved and stuff, but it is wide enough for a giant to squeeze in. I just want to make that apparent. Obviously, it wasn't carved for a giant right. to comfortably well, yeah, traverse. Yeah. yeah. But it could be used as another way into the throne room or out of the throne room. or mm-hmm. Just if they were in a hurry, it would be difficult, but yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. Um, and 
I, you said it winds, so obviously I can't tell how far it's going to go. Correct. And, it, and you do notice a pretty steady downward slope to it as well. I think that and, would... and, and you notice a red glow coming from whatever is at the end or further down this passage. Is yeah, I think I would probably go down the passage. Yeah, go check. Yeah, it. okay. So winding your way down, you know, while you are your swords out. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. Well, because I still- never put them away when I was ready for a back. Well, I guess I put them away when I was searching. Yeah. They're back out, and you're still invisible. So swords out, invisible, moving down this passage, and it winds and it winds, and then it's after about I'm going to say about seventy to a hundred feet. Can't be too sure. It starts widening out, and there are carved steps, but they're, they still look sort of it's natural caverny looking wall ceiling, and even yeah. the carved steps sort of have that natural caverny look to them. Just a little bit of work done to make them into steps. But Correct. Yeah. And it widens out a bit till it's about 15 foot wide passage. It's still kind of winding and sloping down, and it opens up into a large room. Um, it's a natural caverny looking room that's irregular shaped it's not like a 20 by 20 you know it's it's kind of it's not even a describable shape <laughs> it's sort of just got all kinds of little room little nubs coming off of it i guess you know imagine a, a large rough oval with you coming in at the narrow side of the oval with tons of little nooks and crannies coming off of that some are low, down low some are up high running through the middle, actually starting in the middle and going to almost the other side is a basically pool of lava. Bubbly, you know, bubbling lava. And on the far side of it, there's only about a 15 foot section before the room ends. And on that 15 foot section, you see several large iron chests and, you know, looks like a a quote unquote treasure hoard, if you will. Um, and then on your side of the, you know, half the, the first half of the room is just sort of that natural cavern where it's really hot. It's got the eerie red glow from the lava, but no sign of anything. Um, okay. Well, I'm still interested in finding any information linking a clovedra and everything. So I would go up towards the chests, um, and I'd want to check them and make sure they weren't trapped and see if I could get them open. So there's a gigantic pool of lava. That's about, I'm going to say it's about 10, 20, 30, 30, 30, about 60 foot across. Oh, I thought it was just like running. I gotcha. I missed. I thought there was still like the pathway around no, it. Gotcha. No, no. Starting at about halfway across this gigantic oval is a, is a pool of lava that goes all the way across to the other side of the room, falling about 15 feet short. And in that little 15 foot of what's left of the room that's not in lava okay, I, I is, get is a bunch of chests and stuff. So you'll have to find a way to cross 60 foot of lava. So you got like spider climb? I mean... The ceiling is about uh, 60, feet, 60 foot or so up. So it's going to cook him. He would need some sort of fire resistance is what I'm getting at. Yeah, I was going to say you don't have like fire shield or fire resistance. Yeah, because I would imagine I'm getting uncomfortably warm already. Yeah, just. even even you know the hundred or so feet away laterally you are from it, it's it's still pretty damn oh. hot. You're like, whoa, this is hot in here. Well, I think I remember because I could levitate and take myself across if I had the fire resistance. Yep. And I'm pretty sure that clerics can cast things like that. Oh yeah. So I just need to go get it. Ovac. Ovac. Yep. So yeah, I guess I go back and. I know they're not down the zero door. They're not down the pathway that I went. There's only, at, at least right now, there's only one pathway to go. So I yep. would start heading that way. Okay. So you head back up that way. All right. So let's go back to Ovax Death. Yay. All right. So. My favorite yeah. part. King, King Snur just basically, you know, Sauron you guys, set you flying with one swing of his flame sword. Um, you notice Dualto is, he's charred and kind of pulling himself up, cussing, ah, that's a matter of fighting, in some sort of Celtic Gaelic language. Right. Uh, and Ovac's not moving. He's down, big gash in his chest that's still kind of smoldering, just not, he's lying motionless. 
as you pull yourself back up, because you also went yeah. flying about 10 feet. And King Snur is just standing there, waiting for you to do the next move kind of thing. Uh, I would fill with rage and jump off the table at him again. Because <laughs> it right. worked so well the first time. So let's do some initiative. All right. Do I get a roll? No. No. Oh. Six. I got a two. <laughs> King Snur got a seven. Ha-ha. And Dualto got a nine. Okay. So you... <laughs> You're gonna do your thing again? Nah, I'll probably just move over and attack twice. Okay, all right. Yeah. So you, you by the time I get up on the you, table, you look over it at, at Ovac's yeah. body, and I know I can't do anything. Right. I mean, I know very basic. Rage takes over as yeah. you charge King Snur. So I just get super pissed and filled with emotion at the moment, and do yeah, extra and you, damage. And you only? Oh no, he healed you. The DM. How says, many hit points do you have? Uh, eighty-seven now. Okay. That's not a lot. So I do extra. Yeah, because he just hit you for 42. Extra damage from all my rage. Okay. Right? That's what you said? Uh, negative 5 and negative 7. Both misses. Okay. You just, you're just clinking, clanking off of, like, harmlessly bouncing off of his armor. It seems to be some sort of magical protection that he has. Hmm. Uh, and then King Snur attacks. Um, what does he do? Um... Yeah, he'll just he'll, he's gonna bonk you on the top of the head with the pommel of his sword. <laughs> Bonking me? Uh-huh. Just bonks you on the top of the head. Uh, armor class negative eight. Uh, hit. Donk. Okay. Uh, and that bonk uh, does eleven plus seven. Eighteen damage. Crack! Holy crud! I'm at sixty-nine. Okay. <laughs> uh, and then. Dualto, you hear you hear a shouting dwarf, and he just kind of leaps in, swings his hammer, and smashes into him. Nineteen. That's a negative a lot. Negative a lot. Mm. Uh, and hits hits King Snur and actually does damage to him. Uh, okay. Had to write all those digits of numbers of hit points that he had. Okay. All right. Boom! And, and actually, King Snur, who's obviously feeling very cocky, right? kind of like, oh, really? Does the sort of a turn and glance at Dualto, like, ho, 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 ho. So, we're going to roll initiative. Uh, Snur got a 12. Uh, 13. Oh, Dualto got a 9. Dualto goes again. Ha-ha. Ah. Ooh, 18. That's a negative 12. That's a hit. Walto yeah, hits limb. again yeah, limb. for... Okay. Mm, and he hits again for numbers of damage. Aha. Uh-huh. Okay. Whoops. We'll never know. I feel like I should just leave. <laughs> Boom! Two-handed this hammer. This it's like to be down. Leave, leave Brad with himself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Brad's playing. You guys go. I got this. <laughs> Dwalto <laughs> smashes two-handed hammer and, and King Snur now instead of just a, oh, really look sort of goes like oh, you did not and, and backhand swords Dwalto. Negative six is a hit. Gonna be a one man. Not show. a good day to be a dwarf right now. Let's <laughs> see here. And Dualto falls. <laughs> Backhands flame sword. Boom! And it sends him flying. He just actually in the air hits the wall on the edge of the room and falls in a clump down onto the ground. Also not moving. And he says, Die, dwarf. And he turns his look back at you, and it's your attack. All right. Grug's going to say, Grug, say you die, dwarf. And attack twice. <laughs> uh, armor class zero, and then armor class negative a ton. 19. So negative 14. Negative 14's a hit. How much bonus damage do I get, did you say? Um, just, r- just You do 18 extra damage on this hit, but he actually gets an 18 hit point bonus for just this round. Okay, gotcha. Um, so 20 damage. 20 damage. So 20 that da- You hit him, boom, and it actually penetrates his armor. So whatever magical protection he seemed to have had, Dualto's blows must have burst through it because now when you hit him, it actually hits and he does. you do damage to him. Ah, gotcha. Like so visibly can tell. Correct. Okay. And he looks surprised as if that hasn't happened in a long time. Right. And he looks at you and he, after, you know, he dismisses Ovac and then he dismisses Dualto, he kind of looks at you and goes, uh, you will feel death 
next episode. Ha. Ha ha. So finish. he knows that he's in episodes. This climactic battle will finish next episode. And Zerosi will roam around aimlessly by himself <laughs> forever. forever. Because <laughs> everyone's going to be dead. Never. <laughs> he's going to be looking. Where are you, old man? <laughs> <laughs> Having no purpose. I mean, he does have that elixir of life, so. He just drinks Maybe it. on me. Yeah. I think Walto probably needs it. <laughs> <laughs>